Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get to this interview.
God is always on time. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Make sure that you set up here and give God praises and thanks and gratitude for everything that God does in your life. First, start off with sitting up here thanking God for waking you up. Okay. Yes. Okay. Y'all know I'm motivating you guys. Okay. Getting you ready for the beginning of the week. Okay. And just letting you know how much God adores you. Okay. You can, God don't care what you have ever done in your life. God is always waiting with open arms. Okay. To accept you, to love you, no matter what you have done. God has not turned his back on you. All God wants you to do is sit up here and repent and sit up here and open your heart and let God own in and God will do the rest. But you got to be willing to make the necessary changes. You got to be willing to surrender to God and let God sit up here and do what he do, okay? Not be sitting up here in your ego trying, you know, to play mind games with God, okay? You can never do so. God already knows the heart. God knows everything that you think and everything that you're going to do before you do it. God knows if your heart is pure. God knows if you're ready to really truly change. Okay, God had his son die for our sins because he knew that we would miss the mark, okay? And um, God gives us the opportunity each and every day, you know, to fix you know the different things that we do in life okay and repent okay and thank god for god thank god for jesus okay that um you know died for us for us to be able to live you know and still have you know second chances to be able you know to change okay and don't ever think nothing that you have done in life that god wants to turn his back on you that's not what god wants you to do god wants you to sit up here and learn from your mistakes make an effort to try to do better each and every day and then when you fuck up least to take accountability and to sit up here and repent okay god know you gonna mess up god know i'm gonna mess up you gonna mess up but you know when you're going through different healing, different stages on this spiritual journey, okay, it gets easier, okay? It really does. And you got to start off on building your relationship with God, okay? And loving yourself. But, um, yeah, I ain't going to preach, preach to you or nothing. But I just want y'all to know, you know, how good it is to have God on your side, okay? And you need to know that, okay? The power that God, okay, has everything about God, how he show up. He might not show up when you want him, but God is always on time. Don't never forget that, okay? But make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe, 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 subscribe. It'll take you nothing but a minute to boop, boop, okay? We go get this reading done, and then we're going to sit up here and jump into another reading. Okay, as well. So, it looked like this masculine has been sitting up here stocking, okay, and watching this fucking karma. This masculine that came across that this karmic been sitting up here dealing with a lot of fucking different options, okay? As he been snooping, watching, paying attention to this fucking karmic, he done realized that this bitch is full of bullshit, okay? This masculine knew in his heart something was fucking wrong, okay? And his ass went, you know, investigating, watching, you know, being alert, okay? And he realized that this karmic has been dealing with a lot of more options than he thought currently this karmic okay is caught the fuck up okay she caught the fuck up and this masculine is fully aware that her ass been dealing with multiple fucking options and she been out here doing the fucking most okay this karmic was out here doing suspect ass shit thinking that her ass wasn't gonna have to answer to some shit okay but god is always on time with the fucking truth this bitch is caught the fuck up, okay? And this masculine knows that she had lots of different options, okay? It don't matter what the fuck her ass decide to do or how she want to play it, okay? She caught red-handed. This masculine know everything that this bitch has been doing with multiple fucking options, okay? This bitch been out here 
for the streets. This is the back door ho, okay? This bitch dealing with multiple fucking people and she's been caught red fucking handed, okay? And this masculine is fully fucking aware, okay, of what she's been doing, okay? Why? Because he been looking real close at what at what she's been doing, okay? If this haven't happened, it's about to Whoever, you know, this shit didn't happen. Because this say that this karmic up here playing the fucking victim. This bitch is on the phone, okay? And she's sitting up here doing the fucking most, okay? This bitch is the one that been out here for the streets doing the fucking most. Yet her ass is mad, upset, on the phone, playing the fucking role, crying and everything. This bitch deserves a fucking Oscar, okay? This is how much the bitch is putting it on thick, okay? And the reason why she crying and playing the victim because she don't want to face the truth. This is running from the fucking truth, okay? Yeah, she running from the fucking truth that this masculine know that her ass been out here getting her fuck on. It ain't no type of way that she can fix what he knows. She's caught red fucking handed, okay? The masculine done seen her ass, okay? And he know about all the fucking options that her ass been sitting up here fucking around and what she been doing. She trying to run from the fucking truth, okay? And this is why this bitch sitting up here playing the fucking victim, doing the fucking most, okay? Now that this masculine knows the fucking truth, okay? This is the karmic. She loved to bully this masculine, okay? This karmic was bullying this masculine with other fucking people, okay? Trying to make him feel like he was always doing some shit. That he was always out here for the streets. That nobody wanted his ass and everything, okay? She loved bullying him with other fucking people. All along, this bitch been sitting up here getting her fuck on, okay? Doing the fucking most... After she was pointing the fingers at his ass, okay? Now that this masculine knows the fucking truth, he ain't got no chill. He ain't got no chill on the situation. He's saying how everything, how he fucking feels, okay? And, um, you know, he talking bad to her ass. He up in her ass, okay, with the facts and the truth that he know about, okay? How much this karmic picked on him, talked shit, mistreated him, disrespected him in front of other fucking people, okay? He ain't feeling no fucks about how he sit up here and talks to this bitch, okay? For real. He going in real tough, pointing his finger and everything, okay, at this bitch, okay? And her ass is sitting up here playing the motherfucking victim, okay? This masculine want to sit up here and ghost this karmic. He don't even want to be around her ass, okay? Whoever this karmic, this is the same karmic that can act like she can't stand you, but she study fucking watching you. You hot topics, divine feminine, in a real way, okay? This karmic, okay, she been doing a whole lot of shit against you, okay? Whoever this karmic is that watched you, stalked you, did a lot of evil shit behind the scenes, was burying shit, doing shit, trying to have your head on a platter, okay? This bitch could have even had you in her fucking freezer. Your picture might be in this bitch freezer right fucking now, okay? On some real shit. This is how pressed the bitch is when it comes to you, okay? For real, okay? This is what she was doing, okay? Couldn't stop watching you, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. This is somebody that felt as though she took your masculine away from you, okay? She felt a win, okay, when she got this masculine to walk away from you, okay? She felt as though she was on point point, okay? This success hater did not want to see you and your masculine fucking happy. She thought that she took your masculine away from you. Okay, and all this bitch did once she got his ass over there was bitch complain and moan, okay? That's all this bitch like to do, okay? Whoever this karmic is, okay, this masculine and this karmic, they never got along. They never got along. 
as soon as this karmic sat up here and got this masculine to choose up and to trust her, she switched completely the fuck up, okay? All her ass wanted to fucking do was sit up here and fucking argue time and time again, okay? This bitch always has some unnecessary ass shit she want to talk about, and this bitch got off on wanting to argue with this masculine. This bitch kept your name in her mouth, okay? If that bitch will brush her teeth, okay, and use her toothpaste like she like to keep your name in her fucking mouth, the bitch teeth will be whiter, okay? But no, this bitch got always something to say about you. How you got the man over there with you, yet you study want to argue, okay, about his counterpart, okay? Who does that, Okay. Why is you worried about the next bitch you got the man over there? It makes no sense, okay? But this bitch got off on loving to talk about you, bring you up, argue. She tried to, she's the type of bitch that will always want to bring you up to make your mask look at you different, be funny, or make him feel like loving you was wrong type shit, okay? That's why the bitch always has some shit to speak on you about, okay? This old miserable bitch, okay? This bitch really want to sit up here, you know, and be with you, okay? You got the man over there, for God's sake. Why she study arguing with this man every day? Every day about you, okay? Every day, okay? She be over there threatening his motherfucking ass, okay? She do. She'd be like, if you reach out to her, okay, she'd be snatching his ass up, throwing his ass around, talking shit. This bitch be doing a whole lot of shit, okay? She do. She is so pressed, okay, so jealous, so envious if this man gonna come back towards you, okay? For real. It's masculine every day. It's like soon as his ass get in the room and want to lay down, go shower, here go the bitch, want to start an argument. It look like she's always bringing arguments and bullshit up at the wrong time. Like just always mad, always miserable, never happy, always in a, in a want to complain, argue moment. Who wants to live their life like that? Who wants to wake up every day to the point you already know how the day gonna go because of the type of bitch or the type of dude that you're dealing with? Like, who wants to deal with chaos and drama every day, okay? Nobody wants to, not no, not no real motherfucker, okay? But see, the reason why she would act like this, because she knew, okay, that the masculine wasn't hers. She knew that the masculine wasn't hers. She knew that the masculine loved you, okay? And she wanted to feel good about herself because she persuaded this masculine to leave, okay? But she didn't, okay? This masculine didn't leave for the right fucking reason. Where'd it go? I just seen it. Ugh. Yeah. The reason why this bitch sat up here and left, okay, um, got him to leave because she used magic spell work on his ass to make his ass fucking leave, okay? And she thought that she had a win, a win, okay? She thought she won, okay? You threatening this masculine each and every day, holding this man against his fucking will. Then you doing magic on his ass and then you got the nerve to turn around and act like you did some shit. Okay, he over there being hostage with ma with magic. How's that cute? How's that a win? Okay, for real. Like who does that? It's like you just pull out your little black magic, whatever the fuck that shit is, right there. Oh, let me win the lottery. I'm gonna go play the lottery. Then I'm <laughs> okay. Everybody be doing that shit. Okay, maybe that wasn't a okay. Maybe I shouldn't have did another, uh, damn, I just have to work, okay? They don't want me to get this read out, okay? I'd be having the words right there. But anyway. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like I said, yeah, I know it's early, too. Okay. Her ass did magic to make this masculine sit up here and walk the fuck away from you. Even though she know that this masculine not never was ever going to be hers, okay? Whoever this karmic is, okay? 
she was somebody that this masculine was tricking on. This somebody that he felt as though he had to buy, okay? Whatever is going on with this masculine in this karmic, this masculine has seen some shit with his own fucking eyes, okay? And this masculine and this karmic is bumping fucking heads, okay? She, she do not want you to know, okay, that they're not sitting up there getting along, okay? She wants you to feel like everything peaches and cream, okay? When all along, they over there arguing, all along, this masculine sitting up here trying to get evidence so he can walk away from her her ass once and for all okay because he know that she's a spiritual hater as well okay all i do know is that this karmic has got caught in up she didn't have many fucking options okay and that this karmic was doing a lot of suspect ass shit and it looked like she was fucking up when her ass was high this bitch pop pills this bitch do drugs okay she do a lot of shit okay and when this bitch is high this bitch get to making fucking mistakes okay and it looked like she did some suspicious ass shit okay to the point that this masculine was able to know that this bitch had a lot of different options Options. Her ass is caught the fuck up. She crying. Her ass is caught red fucking handed. Okay. She can no longer bully this masculine and pretend like she just high powered and she don't do shit when her ass has been exposed. This bitch has been the main one. You got to be careful when somebody accusing you of doing some shit. Okay, when they the ones doing some shit, okay? She had this masculine just going through it over there, always fucking accusing him of fucking doing some shit, okay? She was being abusive. She was putting her hands on him. She was doing all type of shit, and she loved pointing the finger, okay, mistreating this masculine. When all along, her ass was out here getting her fuck on, okay? But that's her karma because the masculine was never hers in the fucking first place, okay? This bitch sat up here and was doing magic the whole time. And then it looked like the bitch recently tried to sit up here and do some magic. But the bitch was high. People got to see this bitch look suspicious and shit. This bitch eyes all bugged, okay? This bitch probably can't sit down, okay? It's that type of bitch, okay? Love doing magic, okay? Even when her ass ain't even sober, okay? Whoever this bitch is, okay? She crazy. She crazy, she pissed off, and she mad, and she's a fucking hater. This bitch got mental fucking problems, okay? Bitch be looking crazy as a motherfucker, and the bitch is always mad. She hate to see no anybody win. She hate to sit up here and see anybody happy, win, or have more than her. Or this bitch will sit up here and be triggered. She is triggered, and she always got that resting bitch face. Like, she always attitude this. You know what I mean? And then the bitch get to looking crazy. Look at this. This bitch is crazy. Okay, out of control. And let me tell you one other thing about this bitch. This bitch is a snake. This bitch lies. She get a lot of unnecessary shit started with a lot of different people within her life over time. Okay, and she's doing the same ass shit now. This bitch is too old to be doing the shit that her ass is fucking doing. This bitch needs to sit up here and seek some fucking therapy. This bitch is really something else, okay? Her hate, her envy for you, okay, is making this bitch go crazy. Look at this bitch. Okay? She's so bothered by you and you don't even know her, okay? Only thing that you and this karma got in common is that you both dealt with the same man, okay? This bitch is crazy. She is deranged and she hates to sit up here and see you win. She don't care how old her ass is. She just hates to sit up here and see you win and others. And then she likes to sit up here and spread lies. The most vicious lies, okay? Lies that make you lies that get you hurt. Lies that make people look at you different. Like she just she just doggish. You know what I'm saying? Just evil. Okay, and then the bitch loves sitting up here doing magic, always acting like she would never, but this be the main bitch doing shit, okay? Don't let her ass be high off drugs, off pills or whatever, okay? For real. 
This masculine said that he regrets sitting up here dealing with that fucking karmic. He wished that he would have blocked his cock and never, ever fucked that bitch, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she liked to party. She liked to drink, okay? And the masculine said that he knew what type of bitch she was, okay? He knew that she was for the streets. He knew that she was a party type of girl, and yet his ass still wanted to deal with this bitch anyway, okay? He knew this bitch was out there. He knew this bitch had miles on her, okay? She had miles on her, okay? Just old loose as a goose wall, just a rusty coochie, okay? Just beat up sloppy cooch, okay? This bitch always drinking and getting her fuck on, okay? She ain't got a little pretty biscuit. You know, cooch. This bitch swinging around poles. That shit's just a raggedy cooch. You know, just a little cooch. <laughs> okay, for real. You know, for real. You know how our, our buttercup look, okay? Because we ain't having no sex, okay? We celebrate it's just pretty and perfect and just beautiful. You know what I mean? I just been swinging around poles and shit. Okay, drinking, okay. Mm -hmm. To the point that divine masculine cock don't even fit. It don't even work, okay? He cock blocking on this bitch, okay? For real. Regret even sitting up here dealing with her. He regrets sitting up here tricking with whoever this karmic is. Because ever since he been fucking with this karmic, he been having health concerns, okay? It's some type of health concerns, something that's going on with this masculine, okay? This masculine don't know if it's the karmic, okay? He don't know if it's the karmic or and or he don't know if it's him drinking and having sex with guys as well okay this masculine don't know where he got this std from okay all he know is that he was popping pills drinking doing the fucking most okay and sometime he was laid up in the man's bed and sometime his ass was laid up with this fucking street cat ass bitch okay as well okay Mm-hmm. This masculine don't know if it's the karmic or was it from his gay fucking lover that gave him this STD, okay? And whatever the results is, it ain't good, okay? All these people involved that have the same STD, who knows? But all this masculine is, he's in full regret. Somebody burning information, somebody burning the hospital paperwork, okay, and trying not to sit up here and get caught up. This karmic even went to the hospital, okay, trying to see what's going on, okay. She tried to be, you know, under the radar, but out there looking crazy. The bitch went to the emergency room, okay, emergency room or her doctor, okay. And the bitch was high when she got the fucking test results back, okay? On what happened, what's going on, and what's going on with her health. And she fucking shocked as well, just like this masculine. They are both fully aware about what STD they have, okay? And they both shocked about it, okay? Yes. She shocked, and this masculine is shocked too, okay? And one thing about this couple, these people, they don't want nobody else to sit up here and know okay, about these test results, okay, they don't want nobody to sit up here and know that they both got some that they are stuck to each other, this is why they trapped, this is why your masculine and you ain't getting back together, okay, because he got himself stuck, trapped, okay, to this karmic, okay, and they both stuck with each other, okay, they are, they can't walk away from each other if they wanted to, okay? And they both out here lying, okay? Burning evidence, know the truth, okay? And trying to spin a narrative, okay? On everything, okay? Somebody lying about something, okay? For real. 
okay? And see, your masculine, he be out here and say gay for pay. So that means he dealing with somebody that he work with, okay? Or he sleeping with the boss, so he doing something to stay above, okay? And if he willing to fuck and suck as well, okay? They both sitting up here doing this shit. But the cold part about it, they both sick, okay? They both sick. Okay, and they can't lie about it, but still be in the snake, still lying about it. Okay, his karmic is fully aware of what's going on. Okay, I don't know. She gave it to the masculine. Okay, I don't know. All I know is that they both been out here being promiscuous. They both be out here partying. They both like to fuck. Okay, by but the drop of a dime, they like to sit up here and get loose. Okay. And then this karmic is aware that this masculine has a boyfriend as well, okay? They both could have been sleeping with men and women together and drinking, okay? Everybody that they've been sleeping with, they probably got sick, okay? Lying about they not sick when they really is really sick, okay? And they still got the nerve, okay, to be out here partying and, you know, infecting other people okay this karmic is used to sitting up here doing the same shit okay as this masculine they both on the down low they both doing shit they ain't got no fucking business doing okay this bitch sitting up here thinks she cute but she looking suspicious and everybody asking why okay then this bitch got the nerve to be doing spell work as well okay Still out here lying, still keeping up bullshit, as old as her ass is. She is a success hater, okay? And this bitch is just done lost it. This bitch sitting up here riding around, laughing and crying at the same damn time. This bitch really needs some fucking help. She really needs some therapy. She has mental health issues, okay? And she's mad every day, okay? That the master, that she with your masculine, that ain't never gonna be hers. Not, not, um, not emotionally, okay? Not, um, energetically, okay? And she's mad about it. And then he know about her fucking around and everything that she doing, okay? They both be doing shit, and they be high when they sitting up here doing shit. Yep. This karmic, she don't give a fuck. She say she don't give a fuck, and she still gonna do what she wanna do, even though she know that everything ain't okay. Whoever this karmic is, she been trying to sit up here and steal your energy. She been doing magic, trying to steal your energy and all type of shit. The reason why she wanna hold on to this masculine, cause he was tricking, paying for cooch or whatever. Whoever this karmic, whoever this masculine, whoever you are, divine feminine, everybody's under investigation. Everybody's being watched. Every, and God is finna sit up here and, you know, handle everything, okay? But I'm telling you, everybody's being watched, okay? Everybody's been watching the situation, okay? Why this masculine watching her? Her watching you, somebody watching him and watching her and watching you, okay? For real. Somebody better be careful before they get locked up, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she's sitting up here trying to get people to sit up here and hurt you and rob you and do things to you and everything, okay? And this karmic is under investigation. People know that this karmic got an issue with you and don't know you, okay? And this karmic is sitting up here being investigated, okay? About trying to cause harm to a divine feminine. Trying to send people her way to hurt her, to rub her, and to lie, okay? This karmic could be telling people that she's going to pay them some type of money if they do something for her with these two guys that she's been talking to. Trying to hurt this divine feminine, not knowing that the police is on top of everything, being watched, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she gon' she finna get it, okay? Karma is here, okay? And she finna go through the motions, okay? All the options, all these people that was helping her ain't finna be dealing with her, okay? Yeah, 
this karmic was willing to do anything to hold on to this masculine, okay? And she forever always had you in her fucking name, okay? Whoever the, um, in her mouth, I mean, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she better sit up here and keep her fucking distance because God is not playing, okay? This karmic is being watched and she gonna end up fucking around, end up going to fucking jail or doing some fuckboy ass shit, okay? never supposed to be mad at the next person okay no matter how good they're doing congratulate that person be happy for that person it don't take nothing but a prayer for you to manifest and plant seeds in order for you to have whatever okay is due to you in life you can sit up here and manifest it you can believe and trust and have faith and know that god got you whoever this karmic is she has an issue with you okay and she's been doing a lot of fuck boy ass shit okay and been trying to get you caught up in some type of way okay having people watch you when she is being watched your mask can see and know something okay that ain't right okay this masculine has seen this karmic sit up here and speak on something, do something, okay? And he feels as though he need to reach out and call you, okay? This masculine is debating on letting you know something. This masculine knows something that he, that is bothering his conscience that he feels as though he need to tell you. He knows it's something he need to tell you, but he don't know if he want to or not, okay? For real. But God got you protected, okay? This karmic is willing to do anything to have your head on the platter, okay? And everybody sit up here and see who is the aggressor, who is on the bullshit, okay? And this karmic gonna fuck around and get arrested and anybody else that comes towards you as well. Lying, saying that you got something when you don't. Promising people to sit up here. Promising people they gonna pay and give something to if... They do they dirty work. This karmic don't like you, and she's trying to get other people to do her dirty work, okay? Yeah. Whoever this karmic is. She was mad that this masculine wanted you. She was mad at the fact that this masculine still had feelings for you, and she's trying to get other people to bump heads with you, okay? She uses sex as a fucking weapon, sleeping with all these multiple people in order to get people to sit up here and come after you in some type of way. Somebody could have been paid, okay, to do so, okay? Yep. Mm-hmm. But this karmic is about to get caught up. Her and this masculine friend to be in a lot of trouble in some type of way. Yeah. Uh-huh. Phones can be tapped running from the truth. Okay, somebody that heard this karmic say and speak up on something. Trying to get people to do her dirty work in some type of way. Okay. And she has tried to get two people. These people look as though they could be young. Okay. For real. Might try to sit up here and do something for Halloween. These people okay that might be the plot okay i know the police told me okay to be careful halloween time and everything okay i know the police is very aware okay especially where i live okay about what's going on okay and waiting for people to strike okay halloween a lot of people finna end up going to jail yep mm -hmm. yep Mm hmm Yeah. Go make your police reports. Go sit up here and speak on if you feel unsafe in any type of way, okay? And especially if you got proof, especially if you got phone calls of people speaking on what has been said, plotted against you, go to the police right away. And guess who it is? It's just Carmen. She's trying to force this masculine to do something that he don't want to do. And his karmic is fucking behind the shit. She's using sex as a as a weapon. And she's studied bumping heads with this masculine each and every day. Trying to convince him to sit up here and do something that he don't want to do. This karmic finna get everybody caught the fuck up. Because she's already being watched. This karmic is about to suffer in some type of way. Because the police is on her shit. This karmic is about to go to jail.
she's about to go to jail on how far she's willing to sit up here and go to have your head on the platter, Divine Feminine, okay? This karmic was warned to keep her distance, to keep his distance, okay? And um, continue to be on the bullshit, all because she want to sit up here and be in her ego and be about drama, okay? This is somebody that feels as though they took your masculine away from you. You don't even know this person. But whoever this karmic is, she's about to go to jail because she's being watched. She's going to be very upset, okay, when everything hits the fan. All that talking her ass been popping and doing, she's going to fucking regret it. This masculine is aware of what's going on. He don't want to do something. This masculine might try to warn you in any type of way, okay? Might be trying to warn you to let you know that this karmic is hating, watching you, okay? Also, this karmic has been sitting up here trying to hack your phones and shit. This bitch also been sitting up here, you know, trying to um, steal people's credit cards, okay? Yeah, this bitch is selling sex online, okay? This could be how the masculine found out that the karmic was cheating. Could have sat up here and seen that she was um, selling coochie online, okay? Yep. This bitch got a real dark, evil side to her, okay? For real. All I know is that this master not taking this bitch bullshit no more. Whoever this karmic is, she could have recently got an abortion just to keep from getting caught up with another baby, okay? Yes. Your masculine, he's confused with his sexuality because his ass was molested, okay? Something could have been put on his face, okay? Couldn't breathe, okay? Masculine was held down in some type of way, violated. He could have went to jail, was violated in some type of way. Something happened to him that he was never able to get over, Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm going to leave it right there. All I can tell you is this karmic is caught the fuck up. She's going very emotional or she's about to be very emotional. Yeah. See, this karmic did a whole lot of talking. Playing the victim, getting people riled up, all because she had an issue with this divine feminine, okay? That did nothing to her, okay? But she had an issue. She had a vendetta, okay? And her vendetta, her hate for this divine feminine is going to get her caught up in the wrongest way, okay? She going to regret fucking with you. And it's just best God touches her heart to stop because she's in a lot of trouble. People done heard her on their phone. Phone is tapped, okay? Phone is tapped, okay? Police ain't no fool, okay? Police say never no fool, especially with technology now. You'll be a fool to do anything wrong or illegal, especially in these days, okay? Mm -mm. Police up on everything, see everything, watching everything, and this karmic is making a lot of mistakes due to being high, intoxicated, and fucked up, okay? She the only one fucking up. She the only one high. The police is sober, on point, and trained to know the truth and see everything, okay? This karmic is about to sit up here and get caught up, trying to get rid of the evidence that's been already seen, okay? This karmic doing a whole lot of suspect shit, and her ass is finna get caught the fuck up. God done gave a lot of warnings to tell this karmic to chill, but she's not get, um, she's not taking heed, okay? Mm-hmm. And see, this masculine, he really not into women, okay? He really into men, and he very confused. He living a lie and don't know what to sit up here and do about it, okay? This karmic, okay, is the person, okay, that could have brought him this STD, lying, sucking, fucking, open relationship, all type of shit, okay? But see, the masculine put himself in that situation, choosing that bitch, Okay, when your masculine rejected you, God was protecting you, okay? <clears throat> God seen something down the line that you didn't see coming. God didn't want this to happen to you. 
you thought it was, you know, the most worstest thing in the world when your masculine walked away. But if you were still dealing with him, you would be caught up with this same shit, okay? God protected you and covers you with the blood of Jesus. And you better be grateful and thankful, okay? What time is it? Okay, yeah. Yeah. See, divine family, thank God that you sat up here and listened. Thank God, okay? That you listened to God, okay? And went and followed Him, not no man, okay? This is why God wants you to use your voice to help other people, okay? Not get caught up in no bullshit. You better be glad that you sat up here and detached. You better be glad, okay, that you went on about your way because you will be stuck with this unfavorable decision, okay? health concern, undesirable um, health concern, you would have been hurt, crying, stuck as well. But the faith that you had within God to trust God the whole way, okay? This is why you able to stand proud. This is why you setting up here celibate, okay? Being celibate, healing, saved your life. Because this, you would have been caught up in this twist, okay? For real. Thank God you start planting new seeds. Thank God that you sat up here and trusted God, okay? You better be glad that he, he was, you was invisible. God was hiding you plain in sight, okay? Because if you didn't, you would have been fucked all the way over with this hell shit, okay? For real. Mm-hmm. You would have been heartbroken, okay? Your masculine sabotaged the bullshit, okay? He did the most. He like dealing with street cat ass bitches. He like experimenting. He's a nympho, okay? Now he's sitting back realizing that he in love with you, okay? Now everything is hitting different now, okay? For real. Realizing that he don't feel strong and he don't feel like shit unless he with you. And he sabotaged everything where he could have had a brand new beginning, okay? realizing that you was the one now okay but see divine feminine god finna bring somebody into your life you finna start dating again and whoever god finna bless you with you gonna end up growing old with okay you definitely is okay music is a big healing tool for you right now and your masculine he probably listens to music and feel more connected to you as well okay yeah y'all both is listening to music yeah, both is listening to music, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Very inspired. God is speaking to you through music, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Divine Feminine, you moving forward within your life, okay? You staying aligned, okay, and minding your business. Your masculine want to come back, okay, and try to have sex with you, digmatize you, get you drunk on some D, okay? And um, that's not happening. You don't think that you will ever sleep with your masculine again. That's hopeless to you. You don't think about having sex with your masculine. You got tunnel vision, okay? For real. You've been celibate and your legs been closed, okay? Mm-hmm. You know if you end up having sex with your masculine, okay or try to reunite with him you gonna have hardships okay god wants you to sit up here and stay balanced okay continue to keep moving forward okay yeah your masculine's in full regret okay mad that he put up the boundaries mad that your spirit guys will not let his ass get nowhere close to you because his ass is unworthy to come back towards you your spirit guys know exactly what he wants to come back and do he wants to sit up here and have sex with you and then he wants to bring you back to your toxic ass sh shit that you used to do you could have drunk with your mask and party with your mask and okay he want to have sex with you and he want to detour you off your path okay your masculine is unworthy to come back towards you because he refuses to do the work you feel like dealing with your masculine is hopeless and you feel as though all that's on his fucking mind is sex okay you don't want no gift from your masculine and for him to feel as though he would your masculine want to have sex with you so bad it's ridiculous yeah, he's still on the passion. He's still on the 3D. He want to get you high. He want to get you drunk. And he want to fuck. That's what he want to do. 
That's what he want to do, okay? And divine feminine, yeah, that's all that's on his mind on how he can get back towards you so he can have sex with you. It's all that's on his mind. Okay, he fiend for it, he wanted, he sent his sexual energy and all type of shit. He is hard up on wanting to sit up here and get your energy. Your mask is going through a lot of trials and tribulations and he needs your energy. Your spirit guides is protecting you, especially too. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, okay. God wants you to stay balanced. God wants you to keep working on yourself and be assertive. Be assertive and continue to sit up here and pray. God got a blessing coming in for you, okay? New love, okay? For real. You're not going to let this masculine make you feel guilty because you don't want to deal with him, okay? No, you're no longer being passive to the bullshit. You're not that passive-ass queen of cups that you used to be. Yes, you're still the queen of cups, but you can be the queen of swords in a minute, okay? You got all four queens balanced up. You're not going to be passive and let shit, you know, um, slide. You're not going to do that. Ain't no gift going to fix the situation, okay? No. Ain't no sex going to fix it either. You know why? Because you done went through a spiritual awakening. You're very confused on why he wants to have sex with you. Okay, you're very confused on why he even want to come back towards you when he did everything he could do, okay, to make the karmic feel whole, okay, and complete, okay. Divine Feminine, you've been in isolation, okay, loving yourself, working on yourself, bettering yourself, okay. Even though people was lying, spreading rumors and secrets, you was loving yourself, okay. Mm -hmm. People thought that they was going to spread rumors and lie on you like that was going to sit up here and make you move in any type of way. No, you got to working on yourself, toughening your skin and loving on yourself, okay? For real. God had already told you, okay? Don't trip, okay? Mm -mm. What God said, let him handle it. And what God said, I thought I heard a bum bitch had something to say about divine feminine. Let God have vengeance on your haters, okay? They like to spread rumors. You are a changed, brand new person, Divine Feminine. That's about to have a whole lot of new opportunities come in for you. A lot of joy, a lot of peace, a lot of abundance is coming in for you. Because you have given your life, okay, to God, okay? Mm-hmm. Somebody finna come into your life, y'all both gonna be able to share your abundance together. God finna let you cross paths with somebody that is awake and on point, okay, that's ready to love, okay, just like you are, okay? Yes, Divine Feminine, you are ignoring all karmics, all people that's not for your highest good. You putting up boundaries, okay? And you are currently sitting up here manifesting a brand new life, okay? Yes. Your masculine is upset. He's upset that he didn't surrender. He's upset that he didn't surrender to the one that he loved. And he pushed you away. He going through this STD scare. And he's just drinking and just trying to numb his pain away. He just feel like shit for everything that he went through. Everything that he did. Realizing that he should have surrendered. Realizing that he should have trusted realizing that he should have believed in the love that you was giving him okay but he felt as though he couldn't do it he felt as though he couldn't do it because he was already married he felt as though he was at a crossroads he didn't know how to sit up here and compromise okay with the empress okay yep now his karma is gonna be Losing you to a soulmate. We're going to leave it right there. Okay? Yeah. The karmic is sending you negative energy. Doing spell work is right as we speak. She's a natural born hater. But God says, continue to trust. Okay? Don't worry about the bullshit. You keep on praying. You keep believing. You keep your vibration up. You keep trusting and know that God has you. Okay? For real. Hmm. 
God is always on time. Don't worry about the negative bullshit. You keep your vibration up. But yeah, that's what the 411 is, you guys. And I will be back on here later. Okay? Fine.